uh, overlords from work. Oh, very important. One overlord, that's a massive advantage. It does supply black mark for just a little bit. He's got four on the way. True. It looks like Shadow Wisp is also going for drops as well. He's got about halfway done on his drops. Ventral Sacks, 47 seconds of 130. Yep. We do see a little bit of a uh, group of Zerglings coming out from Shadow Wisp, bit left and down of where his base is. I wonder what they're intended for. Maybe some Banelings or... No, just going to run on by. We do see a Zergling scout coming out from Mork. Uh, what's he going to see? A uh, lot of spine crawlers and some Banelings. Ooh, Banelings versus Zerglings is not good. Like, it, it really doesn't take that many to just melt large amounts of Zerglings very, very quickly. One Baneling versus nine Zerglings? Good. One Baneling versus one Zergling? Bad. Yeah, okay. That's a good ratio. I like that one. Um, so we do see Shadow Wisp... Uh, okay, look at his left reactor... Oh, extractor now. It's only got two workers on it. Yes, now it only has two. You're correct, sir. Daha. I best you. Uh, so yeah, we do see Shadow Wisp has been focusing more on the mineral side of things and not so much the gas, so maybe that's been limiting his production more than he would want, especially con considering he's got a Spire. He's only now putting down his gas at his natural, so a lot of Zerglings are being forced to produce when maybe Roaches or something of a higher tech level would have been more useful. Yep, and we do see Shadow Wisp sending a drone to the northern position of the map. It looks like he's trying to throw down a secret expansion. He's also got uh, muters running around the map, uh, seeing what, uh, seeing what's what, where the expansions are. Possibly just seeing if he can uh, pick something off. I mean, he's got a pretty interesting travel path on those. Mm. And it looks like he just wants to do some damage. Meanwhile, we have Mork's army streaming out towards the natural. <laughs> Mork streaming. <laughs> Mork yeah. streaming... Streaming roaches. Yeah. Uh, we do see him destroying those destructible rocks. Uh, yep. Stopping now, but starting up again. And he uh, just had to reposition. He didn't want those spine crawlers damaging his units before they managed to get into the base. We do have a Zergling counterattack, though, from Shadow Wisp. Entering into Mork's base and managing to take down several of these queens. We've got one queen going down, two queens going down, three queens going down, four does manage to clean up most of the queens. Could even get his mutas to come in here now after the queens have been taken out and an to do quite a bit of damage. And an infestor or two, which is very, very important. Yeah. Uh, Looks like he's got one muta working on the overload, though. Meanwhile, Mork is in the main base just wreaking havoc here with these roaches. And infestors. These infestors are getting picked off a little bit by the by the spine the crawlers, zerglings. but not really their target. I think you are, again, a little ahead of me, but... Uh, Two very good fungal growths on my screen at the moment from Mork, able to take out a large group of Zerglings very, very quickly and burrow and get away. Meanwhile, Shadow, oh, yeah, Wisp, Shadow Wisp Zergling attack has been cleaned up with the final two Zerglings finally being taken out by a spawn of roaches, leaving... Uh, I don't think these spine colors are going to finish. I think he's going to manage to get most of them taken out before they even really do any damage. Which is not good. I mean, you're dealing with... 24, exactly 24 roaches. If you double click on them, there's 24 in that area. So 24 roaches versus ooh, five spine crawlers. That didn't really go and then well. Plus the 37 that just rolled in. Oh, wow. That's a lot of roaches. Roaches. Yep. Roaches remember? with 1 1 upgrades. And now they have to get their new, up, their new uh, buff. I mean, not this patch, but the last patch where they got the range of 4. I mean, they really that was made the roach a much better ago. unit. Yeah, I know it was ages ago, but still, I mean, going up to from three range to four, it does a lot. Were you there in you beta don't think of it. when they were worth one supply? Yes, uh, the mass roach armies where you'd have like 150 roaches and they would just walk over everything. Oh god, I remember those days. Yes. So at the moment, the game is kind of wrapping up. Shadow Wisp has not yet bowed out, uh, which makes sense, you know. I like I like the uh, if you look at towards the middle of or. Just north of uh, Shadow of Supernatural, he's got one slow overlord moving with a full set of banelings. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to uh, watch it just to see where it goes, but I think Mork's going to end the game before it actually does anything. No, Mork, you mustn't. Yeah, I want to see this doom drop. It's headed, according to the rally point, it is headed right to Mork's natural. It is. But, but it's, it is traveling it's so like, slowly. And it's like going through his main first, so... 
Uh, it, it, it does there's have no full point, There's no anti-air, though, in the main, so I mean, it'll get fine, but there is a uh, couple of spore crawlers which might have an issue with that. Yeah, it's, 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 such, it's the overlord that could. However, at oh, the uh, oh, exact... Oh, didn't spot the base, though. He's he's running around. He didn't. He hasn't seen it yet. He didn't. He didn't. He actually went right past the base. Like, I think he scouted everywhere. He has. If you if you looked his vision, he has scouted everywhere but where the expansion is. Isn't that just funny? Yes, it is. And we do see this uh, overlord drop coming in. It it just snails pace. You know, just. Just... I definitely wouldn't have GG'd until this Overlord drop happened. Like, I would have waited until it's see if it's, if it's damaged. But it looks like Mork is surrounding the hatch, and I think he'll get it taken down before and, and actually end the game. He should have no. been like, just wait, five seconds. Oh, and there's a queen from Mork that just spawned at the main, and, uh... No, I think no. the queen's gonna do damage to it. Bane oh, yeah, they're... Bane oh, it ended. No, no. Shadow oh, man. Map hack. Map hack. No, Mork just had good scouting. Yeah, so very interesting game between Mork and Shadow Wisp. Uh, yeah, definitely I, a good game to watch. Very good game to watch. It's very educational if you want to work on your uh, ZVZ. <laughs> Although, if you want to work yeah. on your ZVZ, just get Mork to Mork to coach you by playing you. If I mean Mork's often around in the Starcast chat channel and vent and is always open for some one v ones. Two v twos not so much; they're not really his thing. But one v ones, he's just like. Yeah, I'll school you, because it's so much fun. Or just watch his stream and learn why he does what he does. Or just... That also helps. Day 9, or me, or Husky, or Rogoska here. Anyways, anyway, we all do the same job. Some just better than others. Um, so, what do you think? I mean, summary, like, what were the big mistakes made by each party? Um, well... Mork, I mean, he could have definitely expanded more once he uh, had map control. He could have easily gotten a third or a fourth. I think he uh, could he have he was... ended it as well. I think he could have, like, finished the game a lot earlier with roaches than he did. Like, this... Yeah, but you always want to make sure that, you know, especially, like, you know, we said it in the last game we recorded, it's a best of one. You want to make sure that there's no possible way you can lose. Mm. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. I mean, if you're going to wait five more minutes to get a little bit more of an army, it'd it's worth it. Yeah. So, by the way, random off-topic comment. Have you ever clicked on a broodling and seen its 3D portrait? I don't have 3D portraits running, actually. But yes, I have. I, oh. I've, I've got it's all graphics on low, so they're 2D. That's a weird-looking unit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't... I, I learned that, like, turning off 2D portraits does... Sorry, turning off 3D portraits increases your frame rate by about 10 because apparently it has to like fully render out an entire world just so it can show you that tiny portrait. So it's just like stuff that. It's cool, it's but it's kind of cool to watch it move. Yeah, it is, but I'll stick to better frame rate. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, Mork plays on low, doesn't he? Well, he used to. He can play on ultra but he streams on low for lack of for better frame rate -ish, basically. yes better frame rate yes anyway i think we should uh wrap this one up yeah rogoska signing out this is keno dvt signing off uh please check out my youtube channel and we'll see you guys next time